What you can see, obviously, is that it's a very thick uh, population of algae. And in fact, when they form the blooms and lakes, they get even thicker than this. It looks like a carpet that kind of undulates out there on top of the water. It's almost like, um, like an artificial golf course kind of surface. These organisms grow as like a foamy, sort of olive green, not unlike my shirt, uh, color to it. Um, and in some ways, it has kind of a beauty to it. Cyanobacteria are microorganisms that are uh, pigmented. They have the pigment in them that all algae have in them, the green pigment called chlorophyll. But they're different from regular algae because they produce uh, a wide variety of organic compounds, some of which may be toxic or uh, make uh, animals ill, uh, ranging all the way from the tiny plankton that eat algae to fish to animals like pets and dogs and cats and cattle that might drink the water, and even people. They've become really a more serious problem probably in the last 50 years or so, or the post-World War II boom in population growth, uh, increases in agricultural expansion, uh, urbanization, and industrialization, all of which has put a lot more nutrients into freshwater systems, uh, rivers, and even in coastal marine systems. And that has brought about some of these very large blooms. It's difficult to clean a lake up of these organisms. They're microscopic. So really, the management strategy is to reduce the nutrients that are coming in to cause the problem in the first place. If we don't see changes in terms of uh, managing the nutrients, the problem will simply get worse. Um, I think China is a good example of that, where uh, this problem is really very troubling, not only impacting small lakes, but very large lakes now. I'm talking about lakes that are close to 100 miles across which only a decade or two ago were totally free of these blooms and have uh, now essentially broken out in blooms on a regular basis. In some cases, they're the only source of drinking water that the uh, cities have and towns around these lakes.